Let G be a complete undirected graph on four vertices having six edges with weights being 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. The maximum possible weight that a minimum spanning tree of G can have is dash. So this is a question from data structures regarding minimum spanning trees. Now in the question they have given us a graph G having four vertices and six edges meaning that it's a complete graph if you have four vertices and there are six edges, meaning it's a complete graph where each edge is connected to every other edge so a graph looks like this now we know the edge weights are one two three four five and six now the maximum possible weight that this minimum spanning tree of g can have is dash that's what we need to find out so these are the edge weights edge weights okay so let us try to sort these edge weights in edge weights in ascending order we are trying to apply Kruskal's algorithm to find out the minimum spanning trees. Okay, so we will be sorting the edge weights like this. After that, Kruskal's algorithm will choose the smallest edge from this, that is edge of 1. Now, that edge will be added to the minimum spanning tree of the graph unless that edge connects two different vertices which belongs to an already computed minimum spanning tree. Okay. You can learn Kruskal's algorithm to learn more about that, what I said down. So anyways, the first edge will always be selected. So let us say edge 1 is selected. Let us say edge 1 is this edge. Okay. Now let us see if edge 2 will be selected always. So what our aim, what I am trying to achieve here is that I am trying to somehow avoid a smaller weight so that a larger weight will be selected so that the maximum, so that the possible weight will be maximized. That's what I am trying to do here. I am trying to avoid some edge when I am sort when it, when it is sorted in this way. I am trying to avoid some edge so that I can later choose a bigger edge. So let us see if we can try to avoid this edge too. So edge 2 can be avoided only if that edge connects two nodes which is already there in the current minimum spanning tree. So the current minimum spanning tree is connecting this node and this node. Whatever edge we choose it will be looking like this only a minimum spanning tree of connecting two vertices so if one more edge can be avo avoided only if it's an edge between two nodes in the same minimum spanning tree that is if it's an edge like this only we can avoid the second edge but it's a simple graph so there is no repeated edges bet between two nodes the graph looks like this so whatever node i choose it will be adding a new node either if i'm choosing this edge this edge or this edge it will be adding this node to the minimum spanning tree which we computed already if i am adding this edge it is it will create a separate minimum spanning tree and later it will be connected so whatever edge i choose it will be selected by the kruskal's algorithm here wherever two was it will be selected by kruskal's algorithm so two will always be selected as well now let us see if we can avoid three we can avoid three so when we have selected edges one and two it will graph will look either like this we have selected two edges or it will look like this okay now a third edge can be avoided only if it is between two vertices in the same two vertices already in the minimum spanning tree computed so if you take a look at this graph here if i have edge like this if edges are one two and three like this one will be selected two will be selected so these three vertices are selected but three won't be selected because three is only connecting these two vertices which is already there in the minimum spanning tree right it will only form a cycle here so three we can avoid in this format meaning if i am giving edge weights one to this edge and two to this edge and three to this edge the algorithm will pick this edge first this edge first and it will ignore this edge because it is already connecting the same minimum spanning tree again so this way I can avoid three meaning I can avoid three meaning I can choose a bigger edge later now if you take a look here there are four vertices right and a tree having four vertices will be having three edges only a tree having n vertices will be having n minus one edges so four vertices will be having three edges a tree with four vertices meaning we only need to collect only need to select one more edge so the maximum we can obtain if you are choosing the edge with 6 but already 1 2 and 3 is assigned like this we have connected the graph like this so whatever other edge we take these three edges are left all of these three edges is connecting this node meaning the smallest from among these edges will be selected to connect this node to the graph meaning that 4 will always be selected if you are avoiding 3 
So if the graph looks like this, let's say 4, 5, 6, we will first choose 1, then we will select 2, 3 we will ignore, after that we will select 4. So this is the only way in which we can maximize. Either we have to avoid 3 and select 4 or we have to select 1, 2 and 3. There is no other option to construct a minimum spanning tree. So if you are choosing 1, 2 and 4, the total weight will be 7. And 7 is the maximum possible weight of that minimum spanning tree. 7 is the answer.